Hello, my name is uh, Neil Anderson. I'm Professor of Human Resource Management at Brunel University. I'd like to focus on a couple of issues uh, to do with the uh, past and future of occupational psychology in Britain. I think these are two particularly challenging issues facing occupational psychology, um, and they rest on a historical context of occupational psychology being relatively successful in influencing practice in organizations and influencing a whole number of other aspects of individuals in their working lives. The first issue concerns the relationship between science and practice in work psychology, as it's called in Europe, or occupational psychology as we call it in Britain. I think over the years we've built up a very substantial and robust scientific basis upon which we can make recommendations to organizations regarding their practices in human resource management and how people work and how they're treated in the workplace. Not necessarily has this scientific uh, basis been translated into practice on every occasion though, but the first point I'd like to make is that the science is there and the studies are strong and we've built this up over uh, perhaps a 100 uh, to 110 year period now. So there is evidence there that we can base professional interventions and professional practice upon and that's one key strength of occupational psychology. One of the slight frustrations in occupational psychology is that we don't necessarily apply some of those findings and I think there may be certain reasons for that. So that's the first challenge to occupational psychology. And I think that is a challenge both for uh, the current generation of occupational psychologists and for future occupational psychologists coming in and doing training in uh, occupational psychology in Britain. So that's my first issue. The second issue I'd like to highlight today concerns the uh, status of occupational psychology of, as a profession. And of course we have good relations with uh, personnel management and the Institute of Personnel and Development. But occupational psychology has traditionally stood as a separate, albeit smaller, professional body um, linked within and part of the BPS, the British Psychological Society in Great Britain, but having good links in Europe and to the USA in terms of their relevant professional bodies. The status of how uh, students particularly go through training in occupational psychology I think is quite challenging for the future. We're likely to see quite substantial cuts uh, in university budgets and budgets in the public sector more generally. And this of course places quite some pressures on the way that we train occupational psychologists. Mostly uh, the training will be done through master's courses and uh, those of you who are looking to do master's courses in Great Britain, I would encourage you to look at the relative staff in each department, uh, their publication records, their scientific records and so on, and the way that the department is structured. Um, having said that, I think there is an issue here that we are again building on a, uh, a basis of strength. There are some very good uh, training courses in Great Britain in various universities, all of which have to be accredited as meeting a minimum standard by a panel within the uh, BPS Occupational Psychology Division. So our status is likely, I think, to become more linked within human resource management. Whether the training is done in psychology departments or in business schools or management centres is another consideration that our future students should, should possibly take into account before you choose a course to, to do or to apply for. Again, I believe this is a, a particular strength as uh, different students will want to be based in different types of academic settings. So to conclude, to keep this fairly brief, those two particular challenges I'd like to pose to occupational psychology. The way the future develops and the way that uh, new students are encouraged into our profession is absolutely vital, but we're doing so on a basis of past uh, successes and past strength. And so I'd encourage anyone who's uh, considering a career in occupational psychology, I would really encourage them to go ahead and to take that step. It really is a very uh, encouraging and very fr uh, 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 rewarding way of professional life.